this is huge government secrets rocks all nation this is it for more leaked or declassified government secrets before we can start the video I would like to encourage all of you to watch this video until the end and share your personal opinion in the comment section down below about four more leaked or declassified government secrets. This will help us create an amazing and vibrant community on YouTube. Number 1. Acoustic Kitty From uh, missile guiding uh, pigeons to mine detecting dolphins, animals have been have long been co-opted for war. As uh, retrograde as it sounds now, behavioral conditions to this end was at the forefront of the military research back in the 1960s. The IQ Zoo in Hot Springs, Arkansas was basically a front for such study. On the one hand, it was a queerly visitor attraction, a place for the public to watch pigs playing the piano, chickens playing baseball, macaws riding bicycles, and reindy operating a printing press, etc. But on the other, it was a top secret facility for training animal spies, bug planting ravens, mine locating dogs, and the so called acoustic kitty. Number 2 1968 Tool Airbase B 52 crash. In our last list of this topic, we mentioned the 1961 Goldsboro B-52 crash, a potentially apocalyptically nuclear mishap that you would uh, would thought America had learned from. Well, unfortunately not. Almost seven years later, to the day, on January 21, 1968, another nuclear-armed bomber hit the dust, or snow, as it happens, this time on overseas territory. The aircraft has been circling Toll Air Base in North Greenland as part of the Operation Chrome Doom. The mission kept bombers on continuous airborne alert between 1960 and 1968, each of them on standby to go and annihilate Moscow. When a fire broke out in the navigator's compartment, however, the plane lost electrical power and slammed into the ground just seven miles away from the base. Actually, it slammed through the ground, blasting through the ice into North Star Bay at a speed of 500 knots. Six of the crew of seven ejected and the aircraft was destroyed upon an impact. Whatever was left was consumed by the fire of 2,000 pounds of jet fuel. The casings of its four 1.1 megatons H-bombs were also destroyed, scattering tiny fragments of highly radioactive tritium and plutonium across the crash site. Number 3. Gitric SCCO. In August 2013, Brazilian journalist David Miranda was detained in the UK under Schedule 7 of the Terrorist Act. But he wasn't suspected of terrorism. What security officials really wanted to know was how much he knew about the British surveillance program as well as those of the NSA. Furthermore, by imposing the full 9 hours detention afforded under the Terrorism Act, they hoped to send a warning to his husband the American journalist Glenn Glenwald. It didn't work. Hours later, Glenwald released a statement of the outrage defiance via the Guardian's website, knowing that the GCHQ, Britain's state surveillance agency, would probably see it within minutes. The following year, he won the Public Service Pulitzer for bringing Edward Snowden's NSA Five Eyes (CFEI) revela revelations to light. Number four, Operation Gladio. After World War II, with the threat of Soviet expansion looming, the U.S.-U.K.-led NATO set up a 
network of secret armies throughout Europe, modeled on the guerrilla resistance movement of the war years. These groups were totally unaccountable to citizens and often unknown to governments. In fact, it was until 1990 that the European Parliament formally exposed and objected to their existence. Their job was to undermine the communists at all costs and to keep down so even if the communists won. However, the communists weren't all that disliked. The Italian Communist Party, for instance, was a valued part of the mainstream, despite US efforts to destroy it. If Operation Gladio was to uphold capitalism in Europe, therefore it had to make people hate communism, and it had to recruit the only people who hated it enough in the first place, Nazis. So dear friends, in this second part of the video, I'll always share my personal opinion about the four more leaked and declassified government secrets. I am also encouraging you, the viewer, to share your opinions related to the Acoustic Kitty, the 1968 Tool Airbase B20, B-52 crash, the JTRIG and SCOC, and the Operation Gladio. By sharing your opinion, you can create an amazing and vibrant community here on our YouTube channel. Well, my personal opinion uh, is like that. Whenever someone is bringing leaked or declassified government secrets to the public, there is a big fuss. But it is very important for us the people to know what our government is trying to do in secret related to us and the nation. I know some things need to be kept from the public eye, but sometimes the government uses his power and undermines the civil rights of the citizens that they govern and make these ugly and terrible agencies, ugly and terrible programs that are against the people they intended to serve. And this is why I think we need to be very proud about the people that really are the whistleblowers from within these companies. Related to Operation Gladio, the GTRIG and SSOH, the Acoustic Dog and the 1968 Thule Airbase B-52 crash, I can only say that these were accidents and they were secret programs that at some point in time the public got a hand of them. Well, until the next video, I thank you very much, dear friends. Have a great and extraordinary day.